Delver. Right, like looking at the list, I almost feel like if you just, you know, cover up the Delver of Secrets, the rest of it just looks kind of like a, a Team America deck. bug control deck, yeah. right? Um, it's got, you know, Dark Confidant, you've seen those in, in bug control lists before. Uh, Snapcaster Mage, of course, Tarmogoyf. Uh, Scavenging Goose is, is, you know, a new, a fairly new, but... Uh, new-ish. New-ish card, mm -hmm. but that's no surprise, nothing weird about I'm that. I'm surprised it... Well, the weird thing about it is actually that it's sharing a deck space with Tarmogoyf. It's usually one or the other. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh, I can, uh, I can agree with you on that. But yeah, really, like, if you... Kind of look at the list. You're looking at you know brainstorms, inquisitions, thoughtsies. This is looks, like, looks kind of like the Team America bug control kind of thing. Yeah. He's got him to no Turok. No force of will. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, no there's force two of in the main. So, there are two oh, in the sideboard. Board. I'm yeah. sorry, but none in the main. Yeah, it's and just kind that'll of. That'll be dangerous when uh, John knows this. So he might be able. He can very easily play around uh, gazes uh, and spell peers uh, with his uh, two mana lands and his chrome oxen. So we're we're off. Ryan Frainer on the play here. Polluted Delta. You're going to just see a turn one Delver here, I imagine. Maybe a Thoughtseize. Could or be a Thoughtseize, some... some sort of discard spell. Mm -hmm. Wanna, uh, I mean, Thoughtseize and uh, Inquisition. Well, Thoughtseize obviously hits anything. Inquisition hits uh, all the all the fatties. Yeah, pretty or, much, pretty much everything doesn't but hit John's Drifter. Force of Will or uh, Moldrifter. Yeah. So it's probably actually the preferable card in most right, situations. Yeah. And I can't see. wait to see a Mold Drifter in Legacy. It's an Inquisition, so it's exactly the card that, that we were talking about, so... And we're going to take a look. Now, it's going right. to be tough to identify some of these that uh, we haven't seen in a yeah, while. That's a Serendipifri, yeah. Chrome Mox, Sword of War and Peace, Force of Will, Ancient Tomb, and Double Island. Holy... So that's, he's, a, that's a sick hand. He's if, got the turn uh, one e Ryan didn't have if, uh, uh, the Inquisition. turn one interaction. Yeah. Turn one Delver would have looked embarrassing. Yes, turn one Delver would have been an awful, awful, awful play. <laughs> as, as weird as that sounds. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not so awful as. Uh, I mean. I mean, it's still a Delver. It still yeah, would stay in play, gotta, but you would I mean, have been outclassed immediately. Yeah, it would have been as days. Yeah, that could have been good too. That could have been. Or even a days for the Chrome Mox. But uh. Yeah. Yeah, take, I take, take the, that. Take yeah. the threat right now. That basically makes it so that none of John's cards do anything besides Force of Will. Well, you know, Force right of Will now. doesn't even do anything. He doesn't have a blue card. Oh, you're right. Now he doesn't have a blue card. So and he just drew a City of Traders. So right now, John uh, McClinovich would you is, run off the Sword of Fire and Ice, or would you just play an Island? Um, because the Force of Will probably isn't going to be imprinted on the Chrome Mox at some point. But it's just a matter of if you want to play around days on your sword or not, or... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not a... I've not never a played expert. with C-Stompy, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think, you know... It, it, I mean, it's an interesting thing. He's going for it. Yeah. It's, it's not the worst thing to just go ahead and put the sword out there while you can. Um, he may gonna, not be able to. That's, a, that's yeah. the only thing. So Chrome Mox resolves, it appears. Imprints... Force of Will, and we're going to see if uh, the sword dissolves. So, sword on the stack. Do we have a daze? I think we do. Yeah, there we it do. is. Daze. And um, sword goes you away. Could, you could tell that John was uh, thinking about uh, thinking about just playing Island and saying go. Yeah, I picked up another land, so... Not much going on for John. Uh, with uh, with a free turn, uh, Ryan had, drew a Delver. Uh, has a Tarmogoyf. And I think uh, that's what we're going to see here. Yeah, there's a Tarmogoyf. a Tarmogoyf. There's also a Brainstorm involved. Yeah, I don't mind the, uh, the, the sword mm. play because... Uh, that is a huge Goyf. Um, but yeah, I don't mind the sword because, you know, if you're going to play around days, or I guess the, the, what I'm trying to say is, it's less likely for him to have days at that point than it is for him at any other point when he starts draw. you know, next turn now he draws a card. Now what if that was the top card was days? You know what yeah. I mean? Where if he didn't have it, now he has it. You know, now uh, you, you have an opportunity to possibly stick uh, something that could be, could be a game-breaking threat later on. You may as well try it. That's, that's awesome. Tom Roof is 5-6, there are 5 cards in the graveyard. 
Every card is different. We've got creature, yeah. artifact, land, position, hit a creature, sorcery, instant. Days countered an artifact, mm -hmm. and there's a fetch land involved. And there's a Delver. Everything going Ryan Frainer's way at this point, even though John had what looked to be a sick opening hand. I mean, it's sick when it's when there's no uh, no interaction, mm -hmm. nothing to nothing to stop you. But Ryan's gonna for John. maybe do a dark confidant. I think he either had Dark Confidant or, you know, maybe I'm crazy. I thought I saw one in there somewhere. Okay. I could just be wrong. I, I believe you. Especially considering uh, it looks like he's going to cast something here. Just use the um, Misty Rainforest to find a bayou. I know that Ryan has a Brainstorm, so he's, it's likely that he has a two-mana card. Or else he would just Brainstorm Yeah, and there it is. It is Bob. Robert Bob Confidant. Mocker himself. It's cool that you can uh, Delver and Bob in the same deck, that you can stack. Yeah, that's an interaction you don't see very often. Alright. Here comes a Saren Dibber for you. Yeah, he draws another one. He has uh, four in the deck. Yeah, likely a little bit too late, but we'll see. The Tarmograph is not going to be easy to uh, defeat. <clears throat> Now, as far as uh, ways to interact with a Goyf, he has Dismember, you know what I mean? But at this point, is not right. uh, an answer. So, Ryan's stacking his triggers so that he can draw with Confidant first. And, hmm, might have, uh, he drew a land with Dark Confidant, and then he's has his, uh, his top card for Delver, I believe, is face down, and he just draws it. I'm surprised that I didn't, we didn't see a brainstorm from Ryan. Yeah. I guess the Delver flip isn't super important, because, uh... Like, 3-2's not attacking through the sound dip anyway. Sure, yeah, it's not that important to flip the Delver at this point. It's, uh, but it would have been nice to, uh, flip it with the Abrupt Decay that, uh, Ryan just drew off of it, so... Yeah, getting the uh, getting the abrupt decay, you're flipping it, getting the abrupt decay, dealing with the uh, the Ifrit and smashing in for ten. Mm -hmm. It'll probably probably end this game on the spot, but I think the game's. It just might take another turn. Yeah. Basically, at this point, it's just not looking great for John. Yeah, John doesn't have a ton of uh, ton of ways to catch up in a game. Inquisition coming, gonna reveal some lands. So, Ryan's never been happier to miss on an Inquisition. <laughs> Rub Decay takes care of the Serendib. As we suspected, and he's just gonna get in for eight, eight. here instead of instead yeah. of the ten. Right. Doesn't really change the clock. Right. John now I gonna go down to five. I don't think there's a draw in John's deck that gets him out of this. We'll see if he can prove us wrong or not. Even some like sick mole drifter yeah. into. No, he drew Chalice of the Void. Yeah. I think we're just gonna go to game two. Right. I'm not sure why we haven't. Uh, you know, go ahead and play that Chalice. Ryan's fine to not play any more spells at the moment because it's not gonna take him much longer. Gets a land off of the Bob, flips the Delver with abrupt decay number two, and uh, is ten enough? You're at five. And scoop him up. So, C Stompy falls to Bug Delver in game one. Ryan Frainer takes game one from John McClinovich. Uh, so these guys, while they're going to go to sideboarding, we're going to ask you guys a trivia question. We are. We are. So that's what we do during the top eight. Those of you who might not know, during the top eight, we give away... Uh, prizes to trivia winners in the oh, prize. Oh, so when you answer the trivia question right, a random, a correct, random answer correct answer wins will win. three months of Star City Games Premium. That's right. So yeah, during the quarterfinals, it's three months of SCG Premium. During the semifinals, it's six months. During the finals, we give away a year. So Ooh. right now, we're going to start with the three months. We'll start small. Yeah. All so, right. Slowly. What, what's our it, question? Our question. And uh, I'll give you guys give you guys an easy one to start. I think it's I think it's pretty easy. All right. Uh, 
we're, everybody's pretty excited. N new set, Return to Ravnica. Uh, people are people want to use the new cards, even in Legacy. Even in Legacy. What new Return to Ravnica card have we seen the most of today? In the legacy, in the legacy open. portion. Yeah, in the legacy open. We've seen, we've only seen two. Uh, Is it, yeah, in I believe play. we've only seen two actually cast. Yeah, on camera. One of them has been seen a lot more than others. Uh, the mm -hmm. other, I think we just saw one, and that was yeah. it. So that's why I'm you know, give the easy one. I'm not gonna give you the yeah. obscure one. You even played on our first game. Uh, yeah, you can give them give them a hint like that. And, yeah, you may have seen it very recently on camera. <laughs> yeah. So you tweet your answer with the hashtag SCG Premium, as you can see there down there in the middle. You don't need to include anything else other than that hashtag. We will see it. Uh, one random correct answer will win three months of SCG Premium access. Yeah. If so. you tweet Joey, I'm not looking at my yeah. phone during the. Hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're we're doing. Cover. Oh, thanks for, yeah. yeah, good. We're on, we're live now. We're live, oh, good. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. Hello! Uh, tweet SCG Premium and not Joey Pasco or me. I'm, yeah. I'm not answering my phone either. Yeah, not, uh, not something we're looking at. I mean, I have Twitter up over here to my left on my iPad, but the internet's not working very well in the venue, for, or at least not the one I'm connected to. So, I'm having trouble even looking at it, but luckily for you guys, I'm not the one picking the, uh, picking the winner. That would be Shoebox and Choi, our director-producer combo over there, and they've got internet access, so, Come on. you know, all good. You know what time it is, Joey Pasco? What time is it? It is 8 o'clock. And do you know what round we're in? Round 9. Round 9, so we've done nine 8 of rounds. Eight. We're round 9 of 8. 9 of 8, okay, perfect, well said. Did you know that we have done eight rounds of Legacy, mm -hmm. a, a format notorious for going to time, yeah. going, being, going slow, and uh, our judge staff here, our event staff, yeah. has... Uh, they've been this, impeccable this they've weekend. They've been fantastic. Yeah. Uh, getting things done in that, uh, that quick of a turnaround, the uh it's just it's incredible so shout out to our judge staff yeah our shout out staff. To, yeah the excellent event staff just get some of the best in the business some people that uh run these uh, star city events are the best in the business yeah absolutely they they know what they're doing too you know yeah. they they've, they're doing it a lot of these guys are doing it week in and week out uh and, and also there's not like these big uh like judge controversies sure this week that's another thing we've had some issues yeah like some players but like it's not nobody's fault anything yeah it's all we're everything's all been, and the uh, judge been very good handle weekend, everything so. very well so Absolutely. shout out to the judge staff as well so, so these guys going ahead oh, sideboarding there just they in are time. now i don't even have to look down at the list oh nice all right, so my neck's hurting me anyways if you <laughs> if you are playing a we'll go to our resident c stompy expert joey pasco hello I'm and uh <laughs> we'll decide uh what should uh, John uh, sideboard against the Bug Delver Menace? You know, I'm just looking at the list just like you guys are. I don't, I don't even know. I mean, uh, if it was me, I would just side in Trick and Mage because it's my favorite card your ever. Favorite card? I would just side in Jace because it's my favorite card ever. So <laughs> okay. well, I think we figured it out. <laughs> Go with your favorite cards. Perfect, perfect sideboarding. I, uh, yeah, I like the Spell Stutter Sprite. Uh, yeah. The Spell Stutter Sprite, a card that... I've played from time to time in Legacy. I definitely played it in Standard and Block with uh, in, in Fairies and Lorwyn Block uh, era. So, at uh, what and, point uh, do you want the Sigil of Distinction? Yeah, seriously, Sigil of Distinction. That's the Sigil. That's the X uh, casting cost equipment from yes. Shards of Alara, right? I believe so. Yeah, and uh, I believe it's that set. It's, a, it's yeah. a rare. I mean, it's the Shards Block anyway. Maybe like Conflux or something. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's Shards of Alara. Um, but, uh, why don't you want to put that up on screen, or are you is that is that awkward for this particular screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So sh sigil of distinction, but basically it's like a it's a pumper, you know. It's, it's a, a it's equipment a that tutor. It's a trinket mageable equipment. Yes, you can tutor it up with trinket mage and uh, and its equipment, and it basically I think it's just like pumps a guy, like plus yeah. X plus X or something. It's yes. X casting cost equipment, and, and you uh, remove a counter to equip it. Yeah, exactly. So basically, you equip it once, and if you if you stick with just the one. Equip, you're good. The, the more you move the it around, the more you have to move the, it around, the, the, the more it gets. gets. Yeah. Basically, it's like, you know, try to think of it flavorfully. It's like, you are very, you know, I'm going to give you this nice award stuff. Don't give it around to other people because it just gets tarnished and worse yeah. and, you know, selling it off so, to yeah, the pawn shop and somebody else. Yeah, yeah I definitely good. like uh, Spell Starter Sprite against the low curve deck. 
I actually like Relic of Progenitus against yeah. the. Uh, the it Tom shrinks the Goyfs. I mean, that, uh, that's and something. Snapcaster. Well, yeah, he has a list. So they know list now. Right, shrinks the Goyfs. Uh, it kind makes of impedes the, ooze. the Snapcaster, makes the, the ooze. Yeah, blanks, makes not Snapcaster great. Mage, uh, you know, uh, not, Ash Coat Bear. Right, so uh, not not so great. Um, so Ryan has. Ryan's very lucky there's only one Inquisition in Magic. Yeah, he is. <laughs> only Kozilek carries out the Inquisition. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, the relic is something you might want to think mm -hmm. about. Um, not sure what comes out, per se. But this is such uh, an odd deck yeah. that it's hard like what, to figure what out what... kind what... of things aren't necessary? Like, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the Jace will come out, actually. Yeah, just... Uh, to break, just to break your heart. Just, just to upset me. Okay. Um, I could see something like Frexian Revoker coming out. Mm -hmm. Not much to name. Not, not really doing much. I mean, there are two Jaces in the other deck, but just attack um, it. If you're, if you're Ryan, um, you're just playing against a, like a very, very unique deck, and you just uh, want some ways to uh, interact if you can. Yeah, I mean, really, when you think about it, uh, for Ryan, it's he's facing off against a, sort of a vanilla deck. It's like, hey, I have... I mean, they're fast, they're all evasive, but there's nothing all that fancy in the deck. It's right. just kind of like guys that fly, fat guys that fly, and I'm going to try to make them bigger with equipment. So yes. if you can um, you know, I would deal avoid, with creatures... I'd avoid one casting cost spells if you can because of Chalice of the Void. Mm -hmm. You can't avoid them completely. Right. Um, but try and minimize the effect of that. Uh, the other thing... Uh, can do is that you don't want to play something like Vendillion Click that doesn't match up well against uh, right the bigger guys the yeah. guys that are like three fours and you're like I have a three one that, uh, is on that the house active? yeah mm -hmm. also like Pernicious Deeds probably a little, way too slow you think so I was yeah. actually thinking that it could be good because it is nice you know kind of a nice wrath effect but then again you know not, John's not, not playing a bunch of guys correct so um what I do like I do like the uh, GTAs. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, I do. Usually, I love yeah. the Diabolic Edict. Yeah. I think Diabolic Edict is one. Doesn't matter how fat your dude is when you right. got a sacrifice. I like the Abrupt Decays a lot that he has in there. Yes. Yeah, it's going to do a yeah, lot yeah. of work right. in uh, in this matchup because pretty much everything in the deck is hit by Abrupt Decay or Inquisition. And I would, I would actually, uh, in the one drop uh, theme, I would actually either side out the Spell Pierces mm -hmm. or the Delvers. I was thinking about the Delvers too, but yeah. because I feel like they're the weakest card in the deck. Well, uh, they, you flip one them of and the they weakest. still don't fight. Yeah, they're even when they do what you want them to do, they're a little embarrassing compared to the oh, bigger man. guys. Oh man, so we've got John on the play. John on the play. Oh jeez. He's gonna have John a turn one sand of Ifrit, and uh, Ryan unable to daze because he controls no islands here on turn zero for him. Oh and oh, what a draw from John. There's you can make out what the last remaining spell in John's hand is. I did not. I could not. It is a. I, I saw him laying out his deck earlier, so I'm cheating. Okay. But it is a Judge promo. Hmm. Sort of Fire and Ice. Oh, very nice. Yeah. This is the throwback sort of Fire and Ice, like old frame. Yes. I love that. Oh, it is beautiful. I love it. I, I don't like foils myself, but I love the throwback old frame. Unfortunately for Ryan, unfortunately for John, it looks like. Uh, Ryan has his uh, copy of Abrupt Decay in his hand, so gonna break up this. Uh, break up the little party we got going yeah. on John's side of the board. And is yeah, that, that is that mox? sword. Yeah. Uh, I think he just drew a Chrome Mox. Yeah, that's yeah. Chrome Mox. The second Chrome Mox just seems awful, doesn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> when you draw it, the first one, the first one, early, first unbelievable, turn, fantastic. After that, you're like, can I get a uh, a thirst for knowledge, please? Yeah. I want to discard this card. <laughs> I've always loved playing Thirst for Knowledge and Chromox in the same deck. Yeah, they work pretty well together. Yeah, the first one's great, and the rest you just want to. The first one you just imprint yeah. the, th the Thirst for Knowledge on Chromox. Yeah, and then they then the opposite, the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> you discard the Chromox to the, the Thirst. Yeah. All right, so John did not uh, play the Sword, which I find somewhat interesting. Maybe he's playing on Spell Pierce, or maybe he knows he's going to have five mana next turn. Um, Exiling that uh, imprinted Efreet, I yeah. believe, just to kind of keep it I off hate, the board. 
I hate imprinting. It's awkward because you're yeah. like, where do I put this card? Do I put it under it? Like you saw him have it before, right. but that is a, that's a kind of weird. I too, hate. Like, what's I hate it? having pieces of cardboard by my lands and not tapping them for mana. Yeah, that's it also thing, kind like, of throws you off. You're like, I have right. one, two, three, four. Wait, wait. I, I have, yeah, four, four pieces cards, of cardboard. Only three yeah. tap for mana. The other one's imprinted. But then you put you exile it, and it feels like it's not showing you what's on the chrome yeah, box. You know. Right. Yeah, right, I believe he's just going to play a land. Play a land, pass, pass, let him take the damage and p potentially abrupt decay on attack. Yeah. Unless he feels like taking another three, but I imagine he uh, probably doesn't feel like taking another three. But he's going to try to get get a little bit more damage out of John's Ifrit, which is damaging him for one attack. Um, the other, so. th other thing that's likely to happen is John's going to play a Sword of Fire Ice and equip it and just basically waste his turn. Um, yeah. So now access to five mana. John, uh, it looks like he's, yeah, he's looking like he's going to go for the sword, and then when he goes for the equip, if the sword resolves here, when he goes for the equip, we're going to see it abrupt. I imagine decay. that the sword resolves. I mean, that's a beautiful sword. It is. Yeah, when are we going to go back to the old card frame? Is that coming up sometime soon? Do I don't think frame? that. I don't think card frames rotate. It's not. It's not like standard. It's unfortunate. Really like the old card frame. I like the new card frame fine, but I like the old card frame a lot. It's a nostalgia thing, I guess. Yeah. I was uh, talking on Twitter with some people um, a few weeks ago. Like, I I would love to see them instead of foils sometimes like have throwback cards you know now we're going to see okay so the, it looks like sword resolves john's trying to equip it ryan's going to respond he's cracking his fetch land mm -hmm. and i think he, we're going to see an abrupt decay uh on the uh on the ifrit um so yeah the I, I think it would be really neat instead of getting a foil in every you know in, in your packs sometimes you what get. you get is like a throwback you know, like the throwback jerseys, NFL, you know, they, they wear their throwback yeah, they, jerseys they for certain games. they did that with the uh, Zendikar Priceless Treasures. Well, yeah, sort of. I guess that wasn't in every pack, but, you know, or, or even, like, a lot of packs. Yeah, like, but just to get every, like, How cool would it boxes? be to, like, have a... So there's there's the Abrupt Decay on the uh, Ifrit. So you're saying, like, you how open cool a Return you, you, to Ravnica, okay, and you could, you know, get a old frame Chromatic abrupt, Lantern. Right, or, yeah, yeah, old frame Chromatic Lantern. It wouldn't be foil, it would just be old frame. So huh. that, but you would have like foils too. So there's a thoughtsies from Ryan. Um, Teach you the thoughtsies. Got my Chromox. Yeah. Thanks. I didn't want that in my hand anyway. Basically, it was a shock, and uh, Ryan had to pay the mana for it. All right. <laughs> Zero casting cost shock. Well, actually, better than that. Of course. Oh. Um, Five six. It grew the charm wife. Perfect. Yeah. No, I guess. Yeah, this is a real disappointing game. It is. Sea Stompy is getting a little stomped. Sea Stomped. So, yeah. Well, Sword of Fire and Ice still, still on the table for us looks, to look at. Yeah, it looks nice. As opposed to the Sword of Ice and Fire, which is, uh, which is kind of like the Song of Ice and Fire. It's kind of like, you know. Anyway, uh, Magic the Gathering. I love Magic. <laughs> I always get those, I get those mixed up when I'll talk about the, the George R. R. Martin series. I'm like, the Song of Fire and Ice, right? No, because Song, Song of Ice and Fire. That's it. They switched it. Do you, you, you read those? Do you read those or do you watch Game of I'm Thrones? I'm illiterate. No. Did you watch Game of Thrones then? You didn't have to read that. No, I don't. It's a good show. It's, it's lost on me. Really good show. Sorry yeah. about that. I'll just uh, move on to a brainstorm from Ryan Freiner. Yeah. It's okay. I like jokes that I don't get. So, uh, Tarmogoyf in for five, dropping John to nine life, precarious nine life even. And a creeping tar pit uh, in play now for Ryan, and it's looking real precarious because there's eight damage, eight power worth of guys on Ryan's side of the board right now. Well, there's a spell on John's hand. I don't it's know, but he blue. can't cast that Ancient Tomb. Hopefully it's a C Drake. I hope it's a C Drake. Uh, 
It is a sea drake. All right. So put the sea drake up there for us. Shoebox, can you do it? Thank you, sir. And uh, John's going to return two islands to his hand. There it is. Boom. Four, three for three. Yeah, when it comes into play, return two. any two of your lands from play to your hand. And I assume Oracle wording doesn't say you must, or it doesn't. It doesn't like. Yeah. Two target. Yeah. Because two target. Okay, just the fact that it says hmm. two target Why lands, he... and if there's just no targets, there's no targets. Yeah. Why is John not tapping his Chromox? Maybe he doesn't think it's imprinted. Oh, it's definitely imprinted. What is he? he yeah. yeah. What is he trying to do here? Is he? He's trying to figure out the mana to pay for the Sea Drake. No, he's already paid the mana for That's it. What I thought. Maybe he's trying to bluff something. I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's much for him to bluff. He got Thoughtseize last turn. I mean, I, there can't be much other plays than equip your Sword of Fire and Ice to the Sea Drake and don't tap your Ancient Tomb. Trying that, or are we equipped, suited up, and we're we're suited up. That's a big Drake, and uh, uh, sacrifice a guy. Yeah, I guess I'll sacrifice this guy. So it looks like Ryan can simply attack with uh, both his Tarmogoyf and his Tar Pit, and oh, he's just, just gonna go Tarmogoyf, yeah. Uh, Tarmogorf and the Tar Pit would actually knock uh, John to one mm -hmm. and put him in a position where I don't think he can get out of. I don't think he can get out of this, but yeah. He, yeah. Uh, we're going to see Jace here. Yeah, there's Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, better than all. And I'm going to Fate Seal you. And you can keep it. And I believe Ryan Frainer has advanced to the semifinals here that's in the a, province. That's a pretty safe assumption. Yeah. And I also wasteland your land, your uh, two mana land there. And he draws a chalice of the void. Gee, I wonder why Ryan let him keep that. Plays an island, and uh, I don't know that he has anything he can do. That other card, I can't see what it is. I think it's a. Uh, it looks a, like mental misstep. It's clearly not. Yeah, but it looks, it looks like, like mental the misstep. illusory angel. Yeah. Chalice of the Void. You're going to follow it up with Tezzeret and make All it right, a... got to get the Illusory Angel. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Into play. Before, uh... So actually... First and likely only yeah, so appearance the, of Illusory the chalice, Angel on SCG Live. Chalice comes down for zero. All your zero drops are dead, Ryan. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Illusory Angel comes down. And... Jace appears to bounce it, and Ryan just attacks for the win with Tarmogoyf. That's so. so upsetting. I love seeing the cool decks, but I hate seeing them get run over. Yeah, I mean, that. neither one of those games did it look like John was in it at all. No. And, uh, and he yeah. opened up with, like, two great hands, too. Right, but I guess if you've just got kind of vanilla guys, even if they're even if they're accelerated vanilla guys... Like, yeah, they're still vanilla. They're still vanilla. They're not. You're not doing very yeah. much. You're Basically, your deck is I'd like... I'd rather have mediocre chocolate ice cream than the best vanilla I've ever had. Well, I like actually really like vanilla ice cream, so we'll, yeah. I can't use that particular well, uh, analogy on that. But I just mean these guys. Yeah. All those guys were just they were just big, but not even that big. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they not, were just average. Tom size. was bigger. Yeah. And he cost less. Yeah. He just didn't fly. Right. <laughs> but. Uh,